Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking to you about installing LED lights on your planes. Yes. Because it's a great deal of fun. It's a little flashy thing you can do, uh, flying around at night with a uh, bright, shiny, Scares colorful. the neighbors. Yeah, and that's the point, really. So you can see that we've already taken the uh, prop off the plane for safety reasons because we're going to be getting in close. Yes. I uh, want to make sure that that's not an issue. Don't want to lose any fingers. What we're going to basically show you guys today is just different techniques of installing lights. Uh, we're not only going to show you the LED lights, which are the, probably by far the most popular right now, but we're also going to show you glow wire and the principles how glow wire works, LED lights, and uh, basically just different ways to hook them up. As you can see, this one right now is actually hooked up on a separate battery. On our other airplane that we're going to be showing you, it's actually going to be hooked up on uh, integrated in with the main battery that flies the airplane. All right, friends, we have our Tech One Angel here. And uh, this is gonna show you a whole different way of installing lights and also you incorporate in different ways of uh, the lights pointing, different ways of uh, utilizing them and also it's being wire. creative. It's being Getting creative. Out of the box. And you know what, I'm happy you brought that up. There is no wrong way of, of hooking up your lights. As long as it works, um, your imagination is your own limit and stuff. Obviously also you don't wanna destroy the integrity of the airplane and how it flies, but your imagination. And fire hazard is a limit. But basically, if you have an idea, try it. It'll probably be a good one. So also RC groups, um, we have a link that you guys can uh, see. Lots of people have been so gracious. They've actually put their airplanes online, showed different pictures. You can go on RC groups, see all their different ideas. If you like it, you can copy it. All right, let's go ahead and fire this sucker up so you guys can see all the lights in action, okay? Yeah, let's kill the lights. And once again, Josh pointed out, we took off the prop for safety reasons. So uh, no one loses any fingers, that would be bad. And there you go, I'm just gonna let this hang. Pop, pop, pop. Now guys, we got a couple different things going on here, and I'm gonna hold off on the glow wire here just to point out a couple things. We've taken LED lights, and we've actually, on foamies, you can actually point them inwards and light up the internal structure. Illuminate. Illuminate them, yes. So that's what we basically Creative. do. We basically have this guy right here taped off. You can see the LEDs pointing inwards, okay? Now, ready to fire up the LED or the glow light? Yes. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Now the orange isn't so bright, but at nighttime and stuff, glow wire never is bright. Glow wire is really only useful for outlining things, silhouetting things, but you're never gonna get a real big punch and also very far distance with glow wire. So generally, keep it on your 3D foamies. Maybe your helicopters, I know a lot of guys will trace their uh, bodies of the helicopters, but that's the limit. LED light strips are by far brighter and by far uh, more visible at nighttime. You guys can see the, uh, the blue, how much more intense it is. And speaking of intense, Let's go to the tail right here. What we do is we, a lot of times we use uh, phone wire for running our tracers. It's very lightweight. It's a solid strand wire and stuff. Very easy to solder, very easy to hook up and stuff. If you go back by this tail here, on the wing where we turned it inwards and we're lighting an internal structure, on the tail here, we're actually lighting externally. And you can see how that's great for illuminating things and also uh, basking things in light. So you can actually see the external structure, but not necessarily the internal structure. So there's two different ways to use LED light strips. Both are very effective. Internal, external. Perfect. It's all good. This one also is integrated with the uh, main battery. This would be normally a 1300 milliamp or 1100 milliamp battery pack. And uh, this is actually incorporated with the actual circuit. So basically, when you plug in your flight pack, the LEDs instantly have light. Now, if you want to separate that, what they did is you can actually take this jumper here. I'm going to unplug this. You can actually bypass this guy right here and go straight in. So you don't need to use your lights. Say you don't want to waste any milliamps on your lights. You can actually plug this straight in and then bypass the whole light system. You'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and light this back up here so we got some more light. There we go. And this is your little LED strip. Yes, it is. It's got some adhesive on the back. Do you want to take a guess on how we put this together and make it work? You take off the adhesive strip. Yes. Adhesive means it's sticky. Yes. So you stick it to something. Yes. And you light it up. One thing I'd strongly recommend, soldering it before you stick it. Yeah. You got a foam airplane, you got a hot soldering iron, they don't go well together. They don't cooperate, they don't play nice. They don't play nice. So what the best thing to do is, is mock up how you want it laid out, make your measurements, make your cuts. Uh, one important thing is you're holding a single strand of LED lights here. Basically, you buy these from Hobby King, buy the meter, and uh, when you cut them every three, every three lights, you'll see a cut line, and you'll actually see a little pair of scissors and stuff. You cut them on those lines, and then your solder joints will be the positive and negative polarity markings that you see right here. Now, a couple different ways of soldering up, and we're gonna show you. You can actually solder your jumpers right to those leads, and uh, what's really important is you wanna use a little bit of flux on your wire, smear it on each contact, and then actually puddle it up and, and drop your solder contact in. Also, there's another really, really crafty way of doing things. If you're going in a 45 degree angle, you can actually butt joint your solder connectors. 
And just to give you a verbal description, you're going to see the pictures here. You actually make your cut a little bit shallower, cut into the tracers of the polarity. You got to make sure your polarities are perfect, though. When you go in there, you make sure your minuses line up with your minuses and your pluses with your pluses. Otherwise, it's not going to be a pretty picture. I'm going to play nice. Basically, drag the puddle after you flux both the contacts, drag the puddle over. You'll get a nice 45 degree angle and no jumpers required. It's very quick, very easy to do. Also, saves you on weight and saves you on time. As far as these guys go, tracers are very, very simple and stuff. You just use a little bit of uh, flux. Dip it in your uh, solder, smear it on your contacts and stuff. The solder is going to immediately flow right there once you apply heat to it, and uh, it makes an easy join every time. And Josh, the nice thing about the glow wire, it doesn't require many amps either, so you don't have to worry about compromising your flight time. Okay. Speaking of flight time, why don't we take these out and put them to the test? Yeah, let's take them out. Let's do we it. We want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. Absolutely. And we want to thank all of you for watching. Definitely. And uh, we'll probably need these to go back on the front of the plane. Oh, man, you're getting better and better I don't know every if day. They fly bro. without them. No, so. that wouldn't all be right, a good let's thing. Let's go. Thanks for watching.